Today I wanted to um, show you another activity that you can have to introduce language to a young child. Uh, language is really fascinating. It, it happens in secrecy in the child's brain as they are absorbing um, the language that they hear. And we can help them by giving them sensorial experiences with real objects. So here today, I've just taken three fruit uh, that the child has probably seen. And really, I encourage you wherever you are to really have uh, fruits and vegetables that the child is uh, has already seen and has experienced. Um, so here I have taken three fruit that uh, we have locally. Um, and I am going to really let the child hold the fruit, hold it, experience it. Uh, they will probably want to mouth it, smell it and such. And uh, this is really the foundation of language. The, the, the base of language is our sensorial experiences. So letting the child really uh, manipulate this and at the same time giving them the vocabulary. Apple, apple. The same thing with this, banana, banana. Orange, uh, just a little word. I like to kind of uh, scrape a little bit the skin because then it just gives it that much more smell. And this again, a different texture, um, all of this. So orange orange and it's really important at this time as much as possible to give real objects because um, I have seen where we give wooden apples and bananas and oranges or plastic apples bananas and oranges but they're not getting the whole sensorial experience of what an orange really is so we really want as much as possible to give uh, real objects as much as possible. And here we can even go further in our language acquisition and give um, what I call a three-period uh, three lesson that I've uh, shown in another video. And this is for a younger child where we're really going to do the first two periods and not worry so much as that third period of where they need to identify it because sometimes the child here is in the pre-verbal stage but they're still acquiring language. Orange. Apple. Banana. So the first period being identifying them. And then the second period is really having fun with the child of asking them to place things uh, in different places. Could you place the orange? Apple. Banana. Orange. Apple. Banana. And this can go on for as long as you have time and want to do it and so forth. If the child, if you ask them for the banana and they put the apple, just repeat, oh, could you put the banana there? In there and just have fun with it. We're not going to really ask the child to identify it because they're, they're younger, they haven't... Um, acquired all of those skills yet, but we could maybe ask them to put the apple back in the basket, the orange, the banana, and there you have it. Introduction of real objects uh, to a young child around 18 months or so and letting them have the sensorial experience, which is really the foundation of language.